Hey guys, I'm here. I'm going to do a quick video on how to solve the Rubik's 2x2 with a two look OLL method. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because it's easy. I'm only going to have to show you about four algorithms if you already know the two look OLL and PLL for the 3x3. If you don't, I suggest checking out Bad Mephisto's channel. He has a very good a tutorial on how to do a two look OLL and PLL. If you already know the complete Friedricher method, stop this video. You should be able to do this figuring it out yourself because it's the exact same as a 3x3. It's just a lot quicker because there are only corners. Um, so, like I said, there's only about four extra algorithm algorithms to learn if you already know the two look OLL and PLL for the 3x3. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, once you've solved one face here, in case the blue face, you're gonna want to orient the last dead, the last face, the other, the opposite face, whatever you want to call it. Um, and basically, you do that the exact same way as with the two look and three by three. If you know things like the soon and anti soon or whatever I call them, fish, you should be able to do it. Like right here, this is the soon on here. This is the anti soon. It's the exact same algorithm. So just whatever like this. Uh, if if it ends up like this, you just look the exact same thing because it's still the same as you you could see these are all oriented in the same way well these two aren't they're opposite but they're going to be oriented the exact same way as they would be if you had it on the 3x3 three three. so if you can do this then you can do this one so I mean it's nothing different it's exactly the same Ooh, I can finish this one um, so yeah uh, basically there are only I think two more I might be wrong I think there are two I will correct myself or someone correct me if I am wrong there are only two more of these uh, of these algorithms for uh, orienting the last layer for the 2x2 two two that you need to know and I'll show you those once I bring them up okay I've got the two cases that you're gonna have to learn so let's go ahead and dive into them first one is here I don't really know what you call it but what you're going to notice is there are two diagonal uh, pieces of the same color on top, and then there's going to be one. Uh, and there's going to be the other two that are on the face, uh, the pointed on this this way. So it's going to look kind of like an arrow if you can visualize this being the line and then this coming in. I don't know. I just try to think of things that help me. So you're going to want to point put the one on, that's going to be on the right. If you're holding it like this, this one is going to want to be facing away from you and the other one is gonna you're gonna want facing to the left and then you're gonna hold it this way in front of you so I'll do it like this you're gonna do sorry it's kinda hard front up inverse front inverse up inverse right inverse front right if my cube doesn't lock up and that's gonna orient this layer um, so that's that one Basically this one, you're going to have two on the side of the color, I'm orienting yellow here, and then two that are next to each other in the front. You're going to want to hold one of these in front of you, and then these to your left. So it's going to look like this if you're looking at it. And then you're going to do right inverse, up, right, squared, up inverse, right, squared, up inverse, right squared up right inverse and that's going to orient and in this case it also permuted which is lucky but it, that's just luck so those are the only two algorithm extra algorithm extra algorithms that you need to learn to orient the last layer so now I'll show you the two that you need to permute it and then you can be on your way okay Case one for the permuting the last layer in the two by two. This case, it's always is going to be very easy to identify. You're going to notice that there's going to be one side that has these two that are matching up in your top face. So you're going to want to put that in the correct spot. So now you have matched that whole face up, and now you're going to notice that there are only two pieces left that need to be permuted. And this is a very simple algorithm. Uh, it should take you about five minutes to learn it it's very obvious once you do it 
um, you're going to put this on your right, the, the unmatching face on your right. So if you're looking at it from this side, and you'll do right, up squared, right inverse, up inverse, right, up squared, left inverse, up, right inverse, up inverse, and left. And now you have the solved cube. It's very simple. Okay, lastly, this one is also very simple. Um, if, you, if you notice, you will not have any of these uh, edges in the uh, next to each other. So you're going to have to turn it until you, or you get one, one will match up with its face, and that means the opposite on the diagonal will too. So you'll notice that once I turn this here, this blue will match up here, red will match up here, and on this side, green will match up here, and orange will match up here. So the only two that are out of place are this one, and this one. So you're going to want to just flip those and put them in the right spot. You're going to want to hold uh, one of them. You're going to want to find the one, one of them and put it on the right if you're looking at it this way. And you're simply going to do front squared, up inverse, right, up inverse, right inverse, up, front squared, up, right, up, right inverse, right inverse, sorry, and your cube will be oriented. And that's all there is to it with solving this 2x2 two two cube um, with these very few algorithms that you should already know if you know the PLL OLL2 looks. Uh, obviously I can't talk and I'm glad you could bear with me to watch this tutorial and I hope it was helpful. If not, drop me some questions and uh, yeah, good luck cubing. <laughs> On the on one last note though, um, mastering this you should get around 10 seconds on the 2x2, two two, which is commendable um, if you if you think that's good. I mean, that's okay, but uh, I mean the world record is what 0.9 now or something. But yeah, uh, this is a fairly this is a fairly fast method for uh, not having to really learn much else if you already know the two looks. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks.